Jess Maitland as a reminder. I am Diane Trapunzi. And we thought that we would just add in another short video to our series, just as kind of a reminder of why we're here and a little check-in of what we're doing. And right, so if you're watching these in order, you've just been given a lot of information. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of like signs, brain, um, automatic nervous system response, how our thoughts go. So I mean, I'm, I'm sure like if it was me and I, I mean, I've done these trainings and my brain is yeah. like, woo, that's a lot of information. So we kind of want to get back to the core of it, like the purpose. Yeah, I mean, we're really just here to kind of break it down, mm -hmm. break down that for us at least at youth services, we view anxiety more as like a system. Mm -hmm. um, and every there's parts to every system. Right. And now that we've gone over each of the parts in our last videos, it's kind of like, okay, now what? Mm. And I guess the answer to that is that anxiety has a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, every system has a purpose. Absolutely. And we want you guys to just kind of take a minute and think to yourself, what is anxiety serving you? So there's some questions you can ask. So anxiety is telling you that something's important to you. Rather than viewing it as anxiety is a problem, or there's a problem in my life. It's a bad thing. Right. Yeah. It's, okay, anxiety is telling you that something important mm -hmm. is happening in your life. Um, it's a thing to pay attention to something. Right. Whether it's paying attention to what you're going through, whether there's something that's happening around the world with you, there is a purpose for it. Absolutely. And we want you to take a moment to know that purpose because if you know that purpose, then you can have more of a positive outlook on anxiety and a better perspective. Right. So it really matters of how, if you want to get the best, or yeah, I guess if you want to get the most out of these videos, the next videos we're going to post are more of just practices and skills and techniques to help cope with anxiety. If you want to get the most out of those videos, you have to go into it with an open perspective. And you need to, to change that perspective on anxiety. Mm -hmm. You need to know that it's there for a reason. And, and not to be afraid of it. I think like as a society, we sort of say, oh, anxiety, you have anxiety. Yes. <laughs> and right. you actually want to back away. You don't want to deal with it. It's sort of like that's an anxious person. It's not something to be afraid of. Right. Mm -hmm. It's something that can actually, if you change your mindset and like we talked about, like the thought process, if you just sort of switch it a little bit, it actually can be beneficial. Absolutely. Yeah. And because um, I believe in some of the videos we are showing, I don't know if in the past or not, we did the Kelly McDonald stress video. Yes. That, mm -hmm. if there's one video you <laughs> watch out of all of this, please have it be that video. Yeah. It, it's, she talks about perception mm -hmm. and how you can have a feeling she talks about stress and we're talking about anxiety here but i think the same lessons can happen is that you can feel anxious but how you perceive it makes all the difference in the world absolutely and that's exactly what jess has been talking about yeah so mm -hmm. just a little reminder um hopefully a little motivator from right. us that anxiety is serving you a purpose and it's not a bad thing but but it is something that with help and mm -hmm. with practice and we can create some new brain pathways that you can move forward in life. Anxiety doesn't have to keep you stuck. Mm -hmm. And anxiety doesn't mean you have to be fearful of everything. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. We can <laughs> we're, we're, we're shutting down. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So good luck guys. <laughs>